I am Anthony from HashersNet, and today we are checking out the Voltron Classic Legendary Lion set. This set is based upon the 1984 animated series design. For comparison, I have with me my original Blue Lion. And yes, I have the canopy for the yellow lion on top. I'm not quite sure why that happened. I've only ever owned this lion from Voltron, despite wishing that I could form the combined Voltron. My brother Chris owns the yellow lion, and back in the old days, I would build the top half of Voltron out of Lego and combine it with our lions to form Voltron. So essentially, I would bend the head, put the legs back, um, if I can do it right. There we go. And then, you know, put the uh, his lion and my lion together, and then, like, slot it into the Legos. And uh, there you go. Who knew that there would be an actual Lego Voltron and an updated release of the original toys nearly 35 years later? So first we're going to start with the black line. I'm not opening them. I'm going to show you the boxes real quick. And um, basically this guy has lights and voices. Uh, over 60 phrases it says. And... Uh, Which it shows you on the bottom. Hagar Brewbeast is about to have a bad day. The galaxy is about to be secure. Form Voltron. Activate Laser Blade. So this guy retails for forty. Uh, on, on Big Bad Toy Story, they had it for twenty, which was great. Um, but then I would find it online for a mix of forty to sixty dollars. Um, and, I, and before I get too much further, I should mention I found all of these at below MSRP at GameStop. So if you're looking for this guy, try to find your local GameStop. See if they have the entire set. I got the entire set with the last set they had. Um, so I'm super happy about that. So next up here is the Red Lion. Now, when I was looking online for him, uh, a number of sets had him for $40 to $60. And I didn't understand why. And then when I finally got him, because packaging online doesn't really help you see the sword here. Realizing that the sword comes with him, uh, I figured, okay, that's probably the reason. Um, people wanted the sword for whatever reason and said, hey, okay, we're just going to jack up his price. He's hard to get. But again, GameStop, below retail. The Green Lion, Blue Lion, and Yellow Lion were um, all MSRP. Uh, the Green Lion does come with the shield. And, of course, it shows you here that fact i i do like this graph now the one thing that confused me i guess they released three versions of voltron uh the classic version the the first version on the animated series and then i guess it has an updated version now so there's like three versions and uh, what really confused me was they both say legendary whatever or they all say legendary but i really had to stress looking for classic and this is voltron 84 up here so i didn't want to end up with a mix and match because i have a feeling that they still connect together but that would look weird. So here's the yellow lion, and the reason why I now know that my blue lion has the wrong canopy on it is because this yellow lion has that same piece. Uh, I mean, obviously, not the exact same piece. And, and the one thing I didn't realize is the, can the canopies are missing. So if I guess there was figures, they wouldn't go in these guys, which is fine. I never had the figures. Oh man, this guy's dusty. But uh, both him and the blue line have these rocket launchers, which I think is kind of cool. Finally, we're at the blue line, and I'm going to put my guy up to this guy, and you can clearly see a size difference. Uh, my guy, if I put the back to back, there, there is a little bit of a nuzzle length longer. It's a little bit bulkier, and of course his tail bends, and the tail isn't used for connection like this one was in the original Voltron. But uh, you can see the similarities. It, obviously, this one looks more cartoon realistic. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I, I think it looks cool. And uh, I feel like I'll treat it like it's uh, these are new Voltrons. And my original Voltron uh, blue line is a mentor or something. I don't know. Imagination. Anyway. Also, as I said, I had a rocket launcher. And uh, I, I, I dig this. I dig this. Uh, because if you see here, now he has a shield, but, oh, if I can get it out here, uh, as a missile, 
or Gundam Stone type, and then that thing in the front here. So these things exist in different ways. Although this one mounts on the tail, which I was always like, hmm, because all of them had these same three pieces. Doesn't matter uh, which line you were, the classic version, they all had those same three pieces. And here is the black lighting lion, the black lion in all his glory. He is huge. I'm going to turn him back on here. And supposedly his chest lights up. The galaxy is about to be secure. Form Voltron. His head rotates. Oh, and I will show you this. Here's his mouth. And then, of course, these come out to form the ears for Voltron, I guess. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Of course, these are the, the wings on the back. And the tail. Oh, this must be the speaker down here, okay. Pretty, pretty nifty. He doesn't come with any accessories. Everything with him is attached. Next up, we have the Green Lion. He has this flexy thing on the back here. His head doesn't rotate, but his jaw opens to snap, which uh, which I feel is so he can hold on to this. Uh, let me put, uh, gravity assist? I don't know. But this is the shield for Voltron. His tail comes in, it goes out. This one's fairly loose, I don't like that, but... What you gonna do? So the Green Lion came with a missile launcher. Let's see if it works. I'm not sure how to... Oh, there's a button. Oh, yep, that launches a missile. Some type of wheelie jig and, of course, the mouse piece. The mouse piece that all of them have. We then have the Red Lion. This head actually spins. I'm wondering... Oh, there it does. Okay, so the torquey bit on him is a little rough. Everything here has a little bit of uh, resistance, which I guess is good. His tail also goes in like that. Bothers me a little bit. Just... It looks like there's some type of connector in the top of his mouth. Oh, does the screen line have it? Uh, that might be how they keep pieces from moving. So red came with the sword. Oh, I guess there is. Here's the piece right here. Does that mean the shield? Oh, the shield has one right here. So, okay. So that answers that. Oh, okay. I get it. Okay. We see the pattern here now that we know what we're looking for. This goes on to like a shoulder pistol. Oh, they give you all these little options for these things. Okay. It's cool. I also like that they're color-coded, so you don't confuse whose weapons is what. It's one thing they didn't do in the old ones. Oh, that looks cool. Let's see. Oh, button. Right. Next up is Yellow Lion. So, I guess the Blue Lion and Yellow Lion, their tails just fold in. Which now I'm never going to be able to get it back. Oh, there we go. Oh, his mouth does the same thing. <laughs> I guess feet can hold stuff. Um, the yellow line comes with a shield, a teeth bitty bit mouth thing, and a rocket launcher. Oh, this whole piece here is the... Okay, that's different. There you go. Then we have the Blue Lion. My favorite only be because this is the one I had. No tilting in the head. This one's pretty stiff. The head goes up and down, though. Tail goes back. Not too bad. 
Oh, so that your mouth thing? Okay, cool. Blue Lion's weapons include the mouth bit. Some type of I guess laser array or something. Just something looks cool. And another rocket launcher. Oh. I guess this piece here controls it. Oh. Okay. Alrighty. So now we we got them all together. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to just make guesses at how to make Voltron. Although I have the sheet right here. I, I feel like it, it isn't rocket science. Although it could be rocket science. Huh? Although the one thing I'm aware of is the connector pieces aren't the tails like they are in the old one. They're instead right here, which inconveniently placed, but uh, whatever. I do like the fact that their legs actually fold properly, like in the cartoon. I'm just worried that after so many times it's just going to stop working. And then of course the tail goes slides in, I think. Really? Come on, tail. I guess it doesn't go all the way in. Okay. This one's already in. Again, this is just uncomfortable for both of us. Tail, stay in there, tail. There. Guess we're not gonna worry about it. Okay, now if I remember correctly, she may be like this. Because you know they support the feet. And the tail just flips around here. Oh, that's cool. It seems uncomfortable, but hey, tail down. Try to figure out what the flat plane would be on here. Now for the big guy. More Voltron! Trying, I'm trying. Just turn that off. Okay, so. I mean, I guess when you have to support the weight of the entire bot, I guess it makes sense that they're so tight. Although this one. There we go. I was going to say, this one should fold up. Ugh. It says it's 16 inches tall. It honestly looks a lot bigger than 16 inches. But we'll see. Now. Oh, there we go. So far, so good. So big, I can't even put him into the shot. Tail up. Okay, let's see how we go. This is where we should have some music. It doesn't really matter which foot they go on. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh, I love this so much right now. Okay, so on the shoulders, there's little bits you have to match the pieces. So this might mean I have them backwards. Hold on. Now, now I gotta look. Red lion. Okay, I do have them backwards. 
Then technically I should have the blue over here, but uh, not picking. Nitty picky. Let's get in there. Oh. Not to spin the whole thing when I do this, or unless that's what it's supposed to do, which is contrary to what I expect. But oh, this guy is huge. I guess to gonna move the. Oh, okay. So you push this button to release it. But we're not gonna do that right now. Just bring me to ask how do you release the leg? Oh, the legs release with the button down here. Okay, on the those particular lines. You want to stand them up. <laughs> the camera mount is what's being used to hold them up. Oh, he's not liking this. Oh, there we go. Got him up. Now let's see if we can get him to hold his sword. Oof, the added weight just... Oh, got to counterbalance it while I'm doing this. And there we go, got him standing. So let's uh, let me show you this. Uh, that is what he looks like standing up. And as you saw, Voltron, at least the new sets, as just really a little bit larger, a little bit more articulated, and uh, I'm, I'm happy I finally got the whole set. Um, I tried to find the original pieces uh, for the Voltron for the part I have, and um, there's just people are asking either too much or they're in just too bad of quality. I, I want them to be at least as good or better than mine, but it's just not really easy to find them, especially with all the pieces. But anyway, thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. We would also like to thank our contributors and patrons for supporting this video. If you wish to add to the discussion, post a comment below. Please remember to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos. Thank you for checking out our content. Before you leave, please remember to click like and then subscribe. If you want to receive notifications, do not forget to enable them by clicking on the bell. Then afterwards, check out our social media at Hasledge.net and our website at hasledge.net.